brush, two, three, four, put him up, two, three, four, do it, do it now, you're gonna learn how to paint, <laughs> Welcome miniature fans and Dungeons and Dragons collectors and players. This little mini series is going to be all about my Dungeons and Dragons collector series miniatures by Gale Force 9. This these are official licensed products for uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, these are collectors editions limited to 1500. Now I have quite a large collection of the different miniatures so what I thought I'd do is make a video series of the box and my finished miniatures painted up nice and simple but I think it's nice that you can all see what you get in the box and what the miniatures are like painted up so this box set is the Force Grey Company now the Force Grey Company is actually from the show um, as it says here, the Force Grey group have pitted themselves against the Giants in Season 1 and the Tomb of Annihilation in Season 2, bringing live D&D to Twitch and the world. So what we've got here is your adventurers from the actual show. Now, I haven't painted mine a tiny little bit different, but roughly what you can see on the box. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the painted miniatures. But um, again, I absolutely love the artwork on the box. Um, oh, and by the way, the sculptor of these miniatures is Gino Cruz. And I like to always give a shout out to the sculptors if I know the names, because if it wasn't for the sculptors, we wouldn't have any of these lovely names. So here is the completed Force Grey Collector's Set. This uh, was a joy to paint, absolutely loved it. These miniatures are your 28mm standard. They come on one inch bases. Uh, the larger giant it comes on the giant man comes on a two inch base. Um, each miniature is made from good quality resin. The resin is a little brittle um, and I found it quite difficult sometimes to get some parts off the sprue um, as it's quite um, a thick connection to the sprue. So you have to be careful and use a good pair of snips to actually remove the miniatures from the sprues. These are multi-part kits. Each miniature comes uh, with separate arms or swords, which you have to stick on using the super glue. Um, I paint all my miniatures to a tabletop standard. And so here is the finished set. I hope you enjoy these little videos. Um, I will be doing the whole series of all my um, Gale Force 9 collectors series for Dungeons and Dragons. So if you enjoy what I do, then please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the channel, then please think about becoming my patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So until next time. Goodbye, my fellow ones. Sleep well. Dream of evil. Big brushes.